All right, so today we're going to look at how do we do debugging in uh, Replit. Now, you would want to use debugging um, when you're having challenges figuring out what the problem is in your code. And debugging is a feature that uh, Replit has recently added. It's a great feature because Replit is a great tool that can be used online on any browser as long as you're connected to the web. And uh, it's a really good thing to sort of figure out challenges, issues you're having in programs in your code. Now, uh, I went to this page of debugging by just Googling Replit space debugging. It should bring up this page for you. And here, a few things before we start actually showing you how to do debugging. Uh, the first thing that you do is you add breakpoints. And breakpoints are lines of code where you want to stop and see what's going on and see the, the, the values of the variables, uh, see what's happening. And then you really just want to step through the code from then on. Now you can either step through each line of the code or you can go to the next breakpoint. You, know, you can have multiple breakpoints in your code. So the debugger gives you that option and I'm going to show you that. So there's this option of next step, uh, next breakpoint, and then stop. You know, stop. We all know it will stop the debugger. So the program that I have here is a program um, of tic tac toe game that was created by this new tool, uh, AI tool called Chat GPT. Many of you must be familiar with that. And I just uh, chose this program now for you. Uh, you all would use the program that you are having a challenge with that you want to debug. So. To enable debugging, first you go on your, so first you open up the program that you want to debug, right? So that's the main.py file here. And then on the left-hand side, under tools, you will see debugger. There's a bunch of new tools they've added, uh, Replit has added, one of them is debugger. So I'm going to click on that and then the debugger will show up. Now that I see my debugger, I see my console. Console is where my output will show up of the program. Um, now I want to sort of figure out which, where do I want to add the breakpoints? Now I've added my breakpoints in two different lines. Um, you know, this is basically by clicking on this line here, you can change breakpoints. And as I add a breakpoint, you can see it tells me the breakpoints that I've added here. So that's a, a good thing. So I can add as many breakpoints as, you, as I want. So I can add another one here. And then I say, Instead of saying run, I'm actually going to say run inside the debugger because we want to start the debugger. So I'm click here. And if you see, it says, okay, enter row. So it's actually running the program. It hasn't reached my um, my debugging, my breakpoints, because my breakpoint is actually in a um, function called has one. And as has one function is only called after the move is made by a player. So if you look at this, it says make move, and then if has one, then tell that the player won. So here, no one has made a move because we just started the program, hence I see this in the output. So these rows, they start at zero. So I'm going to say at row one, and at column zero, I'm going to, that's my turn. And I, I just run my turn. It's row one, column zero. So now it's checking if the player won. So now what I see here is it stopped here. You, know, you can see that line highlighted where my breakpoint is. And the cool thing here to see is in the debugger window, you will see what the variables are and what their values are. And you know call stack, which is what uh, line of code called uh, this program. The module, so 44 line, 44 is where the control was, and then it called a function called has1, which is this function right here. So you see this is 44 and this is 21. And if I see more, I can actually see more variables. So board is a list, and then inside board, I also have you know uh, my function variables called player, row, um, end, and things like that. So uh, let's actually walk through this. So if I say next step, it's going to go to next step, skip step, and then next breakpoint. So I'm going to go to next step. And then if you see, it's actually going through that for loop in there. And if you see that, um, let me see if I can make this. Yeah. So as I go through this, 
you'll see that the values are going to change, right? The value of this is changing because it's iterating through the for loop. So I can sort of see as I go through my code, how are the values of the variables changing? So I can figure out what's going on. So if you recall, I had put row one, column zero. So the X, you know, the X and O in Tic Tac, it actually printed the X here. So if I keep playing, and since I have multiple breakpoints, it's going to keep going. And here, if you see on the console now, it has added X here. Now it's saying, uh, okay, you know, you play the next game or play the, or the next person will play. So, so that's really it. You can, um, you know, you can really use this tool to your advantage. And it's a really powerful tool to figure out what problems you might be having in your code. So thank you.